So what could be better than enjoying a tropical paradise? Well, how about one that lets you do it in the buff? Hmm? I am talking about the Isle of Passion in Cozumel, Mexico. I guess that's also called <laughs> Isla de la Passion. That sounds more French. Anyway, this private beach area offers soft sand beaches, beach chairs, tables, hammocks, day beds, cabanas, food, tequila tasting, shops, and a beautiful view of the ocean. What could possibly make this better? Well, how about it becoming a new destination for this trip? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. But before I get too far, I want to take time to thank everyone that supports the channel. Our newest channel member is Jose Carlos Erregan Espinosa. Thank you, sir, for, for joining, and I appreciate that. Uh, again, thanks to everybody that helps keep this channel going. The Isle of Passion is on the north end of Cozumel. It's accessible by a boat shuttle that departs from the cruise port, and it's about an hour trip on board to get out there. For our trip, they let us take our textiles off about halfway there, as soon as we got far enough from the, uh, the, the prying eyes of the beach. Uh, most people left their clothes on until we actually arrived at the beach though, because it was kind of close quarters in the ship. The boat puts in at a dock, so there's no need to get your feet wet making the landfall, so you don't have to worry about that. There was a number of packages for the excursion. Uh, there was the, uh, the bare bones package uh, that included just basically the beach and the, and the buffet. There was a romantic couples retreat. Uh, there were day beds you could get, and there was the cabanas. And these all varied in price, going more high uh, in the order that I listed them. The cabana package and the day beds both included a, a little ice chest full of drinks and some goodies, uh, with the cabana getting a few more perks added on as well. I'll go ahead and put the website in the description below. You can look it up yourself if you'd like. All of these packages included the buffet, which consisted of guacamole, fajitas, uh, chicken and fish tacos and, and some of the other fixings as well. Uh, there was an open bar where you could get water, uh, beer, uh, wine, and, and some select drinks. And during lunch we got to visit with some of our local wildlife as well, being little birds and raccoons running around trying to get their fair share. The tables, the buffet, the chairs, the hammocks, all that was included in the in the basic price. There were water toys like kayaks and, and some inflatables in the water if you wanted to get out there and get yourself wet and have some fun. Uh, to me, the water was a little murky and a little on the chilly side, so snorkeling didn't work out so good on this trip. It was up to you how you wanted to spend the time. A lot of people just found a seat, went out sunbathing, uh, you know, getting their tan on, uh, but you could get in the shade if you prefer. There was plenty of that around. Uh, people were walking and visiting, and uh, there was a game of nude volleyball going on as well. If shopping is more your thing, there was a little line of shops there, and you could go in and get your, your t-shirts, uh, some beautiful shell carving items, uh, things like that. Uh, and there was also a tequila tasting every half hour, I believe it was. So you could go in there and try some of the local stuff if you liked. Uh, the staff was very friendly and helpful. The trip description says it lasts about three and a half hours. And while that's true, most of that is not taking place uh, actually on the beach. Uh, there's that one hour shuttle ride both to and from uh, the cruise port. I think overall I got to spend a little less than two hours actually on the island, uh, even though it was a very nice time. So I guess my biggest criticism would be that lack of time that you actually get to spend on site. But other than that, was it worth it? Well, I think so. I think so. It was a good trip regardless, but when they made it into a nude uh, opportunity for us, that, that pretty much sealed the deal and I would go back in a heartbeat. So until next time, happy nude travel and don't forget the sunscreen.